Alright guys, so I figured I'd make a video on this just for uh, some helpful tips in case you're following along and you're kind of getting the same stuff that I get. Uh, you remember that I have this uh, LiPo Balance Charger, the IMAX B6 here. And I've been using this to charge every one of my batteries. You have to have your own power supply. It just comes with this here and a whole bunch of wires and stuff. And then I ended up making this port to charge my, my batteries. Uh, this is the original cord it came with and you can use the little clips that they have to charge your batteries or you can get you a they have this other one that has this into it and I had some of these so I just cut one of the wires on both ends uh, re-put that one on there or no I don't remember exactly now anyways but anyways I, I got it like this and just made this little connection piece here that way, I didn't want to cut this completely off and just turn this one into the VTX because I have friends that fly with this connection, this T connection. And so I wanted to make sure that I had both just in case I needed it. But we're not even using that today, so I took it out. Anyways, we're going to charge the LiPo on the uh, Fat Sharks today. And so let me get where you can see that. There we go. That's pretty good, isn't it? That's pretty good. So we've got our fat shark here. One thing that you want to do when you look at your LiPo batteries is you want to read the information here. It's 7.4 volt, 1800 milliamp. Here's the thing about these. Usually when you're charging something like this, it's a uh, 1300 and you would divide that by a thousand and so you would charge this at 1.3 amps on the 3 cell 11.1 volt and it's very easy to do on a balance charge you see the balance charger there and you plug both ports in you plug the balance charger into the side there and so these are very very easy to charge uh, you can see here this is how you can tell uh, sometimes this has this little mark here that sometimes let's see if I can get it off no, on my on my 4S batteries, they've been so worn out now that it doesn't say that anymore. And they say 1300 on it as well. The way that you can tell if it's a 3-cell a battery or a 4-cell battery is simple. You just look at the balance port here. Your black one is your ground, so that's not going to any cell there. That's just to ground it. And then so you take your ground away, and then you count your other wires here. You've got 1, 2, and 3. So this is a 3 cell battery. You've got a 4 cell battery here. Not only is it bigger, because it's got an extra cell in it. I mean, they're pretty similar in size. I mean, if you're just running and grabbing it, you know, you may get thrown off, but you see they both say 1300. And this one's been rubbed off on the 4 cell, so you, you can't really tell. It all says the same thing on the front, except for where it's earmarked for the, the cell. So what I would do with this to make sure, for one I know just by the feeling of it that, that it is, but in case you were having trouble, there's the ground. So then you just count these, one, two, three, and four wires other than the ground, and that's a four cell battery. So it's fairly easy to figure it out. Ooh, this thing's kind of puffy. I just got done flying it. So those are those. Very, very simple. Very easy. So you just go in here, you just make sure that you're on your LiPo and you hit enter. And then this pops up. And then that 1300, you divide by 1000 and you would get 1.3. And then you'd come over here and pick the 1.11 uh, 3S. But the Fat Shark batteries are different, being that there are more. Uh, technologically, they're a, a way better battery. They have more to them, more in them. You've got this little uh, thing here that, that tells you how much battery is left in it. Uh, so it's got a little thing that reads that. And it's got an internal balancer in it. So you can't look over here and read this and see this and see how many cells it is because all this is right here is a port to charge your fan. So all you've got is a ground and a power. So this isn't a balance port. You cannot balance charge these. You can't put it on balance charge. 
uh, it just, it won't work. And, and so when you're reading this stuff here, you're not going to see a three cell or a four cell or anything like that because these just, that's not how these are made. Um, uh, I'm not sure how many cells they actually are. I think they're two cell batteries, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Uh, the numbers that you're going to be paying attention to are these two numbers right here. And in the IMAX B6 charger, the only 7.4 volt is a, a two cell. So, uh, you don't have to, you just got to worry about making sure that you're on, on, on that. Um, with the 1800 milliamps per hour, uh, I wouldn't I mean you can you can you can do it at 1.8 I'm pretty sure but from everybody that I've talked to and it's really good in this hobby to make sure that you talk around to people uh, watch videos that people do people are doing it to uh, to help you out to make sure that you don't ruin things uh, so this when it comes to these fat shark batteries or the intelligent flight batteries and things like that um, you want to make sure that you're you're putting your amps exactly where you need to put them. And for these ones, I would suggest putting them at 1.0 amps uh, instead of 1.8. You can do 1.8, I'm pretty sure, and I've seen people do 1.8, um, but 1.0 seems to be what everybody's going with. Uh, it's safe and, and everybody's batteries are lasting. You gotta remember that these LiPo batteries are very sensitive. They can cause a lot of damage and things if you do stuff wrong with them. So you've got to treat these things with care. Not only that, but they're pretty expensive, so you want to make sure that you're not ruining them and constantly buying new batteries and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and charge this. The Fat Sharks come with this plug-in right here. It doesn't come with a charger, it just comes with this little thing here, which is awesome because if you notice on the other the same thing. So I think this was made specifically for LiPo chargers. Not Maybe, maybe not necessarily this one because there's other LiPo chargers uh, besides this one, but uh, it was definitely made to be done on a LiPo charger. I'm going to stick these behind this. That way we can keep that propped up so you can read it. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and back out of all this. Now We've got this here, oh wait, this is your main screen here, and you can do it on the LiPo battery, because it is a LiPo battery, and I've seen people do it on the NIMH battery, it's a nickel something or other, I don't know, I've never charged anything on it, but I've seen other people charge it on this using this charger, and it's very simple to do, but we're not going to charge it like that. Uh, you want to charge it like this if you have trouble charging it as a LiPo. I guess some people have had trouble charging it as a LiPo, uh, but I don't, so we're not going to do that. No, it's the Nickel D battery. Sorry, I apologize. I'm pretty sure. It's one of them. God damn it. I don't do it, so I don't know. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go to LiPo battery. Hit enter. Okay, and then you want LiPo charge. Now if you flip through here, you're going to have LiPo Discharge, LiPo Storage, Fast Charge, Balance Charge. This is where you, this is the one that you want to be in for your regular batteries. This is the, the charge that I typically charge my batteries in. Um, and I've seen people go into the programming and stuff in the settings and, and turn off the balance charge. But you actually don't have to do that because you're not balancing, balance charging it. So don't put it on balance charge. Keep going until you just get to regular LiPo charge right here. Now we're going to go ahead and hook this part in here. Like that. And we're not going to plug the, the balance in because it's not a balance. Now we're going to hit enter, and this is where you could put it up to 18 if you're going along that, and you can do that if you would like, but just to be on the safe side, I'm going to do what everybody else does. 
you know, people in this community are trying to help you save your battery. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go along with them. <laughs> so you hit enter and see the seven point volt, seven point four volt is in the two S. So the lowest this goes is a one S is three point seven. And then the next one up is the 11.1, .1, which is a 3S. So you're going to do it at the 7.1 volt. Hit enter, enter and hold. Now it's checking the battery. So it says it's good to charge it. It says enter. You hit enter. There you go. Now if you hit this, it's not going to show you when you're balanced charging it. It shows you your different sales uh, and what volt it's at, but since we're not balance charging it, that's not going to matter. So, in power voltage, it's not all the way dead, and I should have waited for it to die all the way, but I'm not worried about it. One time charging it like this, just make sure that uh, if you're doing this, I'm going out to fly here in a bit. And I'm going to be flying for a while, so I want to make sure that I have a full battery and I don't have that much time to charge it. Uh, so that's the only reason I'm doing this. But if you ever uh, charge it when uh, it's still got you know some of a charge on it and stuff, make sure that you don't get into the habit of it because that'll ruin your battery. So that's going to be on there for a bit. And you can kind of push this button as it goes and kind of see where the charge is at. Yeah. You know, see it was it was pretty well charged. And that should take well, if it's empty, all the way empty, it should take a little bit over an hour to charge. It's probably gonna take about thirty minutes, which is all the time I have. You can see that I have my GoPro session on the charger at the moment as well. I'm gonna get it ready. Actually it should be good. Let's see. Oh yeah, fully charged. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. I'm a strickler when it comes to batteries. Taking care of batteries. Making sure that uh, your batteries stay healthy. Because that's one of the biggest things in this hobby. I mean, everything that we use in this hobby is ran on batteries. And if you're spending all your money buying new batteries, then that keeps you away from buying new toys. And I have been able to buy a lot of of new toys here lately that I'm gonna take out flying. Ooh, did I stop it on accident? My bad. <laughs> oh, no I didn't. Good. I just hit the button. Anyways, I'm gonna get this charged. I gotta charge that 4S. Uh, this 3S is charged. You got a little bit extra out of this, but that's, that's how you, uh, that's how you charge a pair of fast sharks. It's going. It's on. It's only been six minutes. Yeah, it wasn't really that low. It's already at, it's already at three. So I went out and used them for like four batteries in it and it was down on the two, so I thought it would have been on the lower two. I haven't charged this particular battery yet. Uh, this is the first charge, is, charge that's go, going in. So, Anyways, I'm Bryce and Michael RC. Hopefully this has been educational. Hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, this, this, I, this IMAX B6 has been awesome. I've used it for every LiPo battery that I've used in this hobby and plan on using it for every LiPo battery <laughs> in this hobby. Besides the toy grade ones, because the toy grade ones come with their own... The toy grade ones come with their own chargers, and... Uh, I don't want to go through and make a bunch of adapters and stuff for toy grade drones. Those things just take too long to charge anyways. For a six minute flight. A six minute flight with a racing drone is way more fun than a six minute flight with a toy gray drone. <laughs> Anyways, I'm Bryson Michael RC. We'll see you guys later. Have a good one.